ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾ ಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಶಾಕಲ್ಪತರು ವಶ್ಯ ಕಿ ಪಾಸಿಂದು ಬೈವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನಿಬ್ಬ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂ ಪಂಗುಂ ಲಂಘಯತಿ ಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ಬಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದ ಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಲಸಿ ದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾ ವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದೇ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂಚನೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸ್ವರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪಾತ್ರಶ್ಯ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಚ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರಣ ಧ್ಯೇಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವವಿರಂಚನ ಶರಣ್ಯ ಭೀತಾತ್ಯಹಂ ಪುನದು ಬಾಲ್ಯಭವಾಧಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೇ ಚರುಣಾರ್ವಿಂದ ಯತ್ ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನ ಖಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗೋಪವಧೂಷ್ವ ದರ್ಶ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರ ಸಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಶಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶಿಯಾದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶಿಯಾದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕಾವದಾತ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕಪಿತರೋ ಕಮಲಾಹ್ಯತಾಕ್ಷ ವೀಶಾಂಬರೋ ದ್ವಿಜವರೋ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೋ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ ಪ್ರಿಯಕರೋ ಕರುಣಾವತಾರೋ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿತೋ ದಿವ್ಯೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇಣ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯಜಟಾಕಲಾಪಂ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭೂಷೀತ್ ವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣೋ ಪ್ರಿಯಮನಂಗಮದಾಪಹಾರ ಬರಾನುಸಿಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶನಾಥ ಬಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ಯ ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಸ್ ಚ ಭಕ್ಷಿ ಯಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬೀದ್ ತ್ಸಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜಿ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ 
प्रायन देव मुनय सभी मुक्ति कामा मौनम चरंती बीजन पराथनिष्ठा नईतान विहाय कृपनान विमोक्ष एको नान्याम तदस शरण भ्रमतो नुपे प्रायन देव मुनय सभी मुक्ति कामा मौनम चरंती बीजन पराथनिष्ठा नईतान विहाय कृपनान विमोक्ष एको नान्याम तदस शरण भ्रमतो नुपे गौरीय गोष्ठीपति गौरीय गोष्ठीपति शिशिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती को स्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमेश ठाकुर टोल्ड दैट वन बॉन्डेड जीवा टू गेट आउट ऑफ द क्लचिज ऑफ माया माया इन ऑर्डर टू गेट आउट ऑफ द क्लचिज ऑफ माया माया एंड टू जस्ट ट्रांसफर इट टू भगवत चरण दैट काइंड ऑफ सेवा वॉट वी आर डूइंग That is the topmost uh, upkar you can do in the life of a bonded jiva. Gaudiya Goshtipati Shri Shila Bhakti Sridhar Saraswati Goswami Thakur Prabhupada Jagat Guru told that only one in order to get out one bonded jiva from the clutches of Maha Maya and to just transfer it towards uh, so that in order to cut his bondage, material bondage, and just to transfer it to the nitya seva and to bhagwat seva. that kind of seva is the topmost uh, thing normal people can't understand this point at all they don't have any kind of vichar regarding this that all those uh, sm- small seva of that tatkalik seva of this uh, material world they are all the time busy in that those which, which is temporary in nature how a jiva we can can take him to the topmost transcendental place that kind of tr- nitya seva transcendental seva of bhagwan how we can tell him shri chaitanya mahaprabhu under the guidance of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu all our guru work up till nityanand prabhu also up till nityanand prabhu also haridas haridas nityanand prabhu nityanand haridas tagur were actually instructed by mahaprabhu to go out and you just preach the holy name in each and every uh, door of uh, in each and every door and each and every uh, give all the efforts to just preach the holy name in front of each and every jiva shrimad bhagwat ji mahapuran in this everything is there all the purans the vital of purans uh, bhagwat gita mahabharat ved vedant everything is actually all solution is there in the shrimad bhagwat ji mahapuran in shrimad bhagwat ji mahapuran all our ved upanishad purans everything uh, the solution is there and gita is also one upanishad upanishad by speaking this the actual purport of this thing of upa means that samipe the very close by to close samipe means to close by and nishad means vasati those that those who can just uh, uh, come in front of pure guru vishnu and bhagwan who can come in front with them oh, in front of them that is called upanishad the actual deeper meaning of upanishad lot of meanings are there lot of vichar are there but all are there in shrimad bhagwat ji mahapuran in hidden form it is already there all the meanings yesterday we i was actually discussing this vichar i was actually discussing this vichar with you the first shlok which i have already started with today that is of pralad maharaj in that mahabhagavat pralad maharaj that shloka is there pralad maharaj actually speaking in front of nirsingha dev prabhu o prabhu o thakur ji that every time it is already seen this thing that all pure guru vaishnav they are for their own mangal they are actually doing that and very uh, quietly they are going to, uh, going away from this material world they are not at all speaking to anyone they are just doing their bhajan and other are actually they are taking the vesh of sadhu and just cheating other people what to speak of them at all pralad maharaj actually speaking that uh, often it is seen that all those pure guru vaishnav they are taking the they are just doing their own bhajan quietly and for their own mangal they are actually doing bhajan apna mangal just for their own mangal jangal mein 
they are going to the jungle and uh, very uh, nirjan stan their nirjan place they are doing their own bhajan and just leave their body that is definitely there prahlad maharaj actually speaking that you see that it is not at all seen like this that that all the all for the actual mangal of this whole material world they are actually thinking of this material world that is actual sadhu if someone is thinking of his own mangal that is not a sadhu the actual the life of a sadhu is that all material world each and every jiva he will think of their uh, deliberation the actual life of a actual sadhu is just uh, all the time he is busy in uh, krishna seva but this life this uh, life of ours this other life it is only for the benefit benefit of all the uh, jivas of this material world not of his own selfish mood he is doing something he is not at all doing as anything for his own selfish motive and all these uh, pure guru vaishnav more most of them they are actually going for their own mangal but prahlad maharaj speaking here that i am not at all this much selfish enough that i will be thinking of that for this whole material world you for the actual mangal you have to do kripa on this whole material world apart from you who is there thakur ji oh krishna that apart from you who can uh, do the actual mangal of this material world you definitely have to do that all those uh, sub pure guru vaishnav their actual work is that for their they will be doing their own bhajan and will be going away and they are actually asking for the actual mangal of the material world they are actually serving pure guru vaishnav and bhagwan and they will be just uh, for the whole mangal of this material world for the actual benefit of this material world and for all pure sadhus because uh, radharani is the top most sadhu no she is actually thinking of all the material bonded jeevas so this is the actual role of a sadhu prahlad maharaj is speaking that you see that you have to apart from you bhagwan nobody can uh, think who is the actual support of this whole material world no one is there apart from you that they are not at all speaking anything moni baba duni baba ekahari baba falahari baba jatadhari baba all milkman baba <laughs> all that the categories of baba but like propad we haven't seen like that sadhu top most uh, and light and just sitting on a sitting on the on the seat of acharya i have we haven't seen that there or can be some kind of sadhu they are very nice clothes they are wearing on the singhasan they are actually uh, sitting on that and normal person this kind of uh, bhav in we just need to break that off if in gauriya math that all the pure guru vaishnav they are collected all together and the adarsh of prabhupad they will be just give set they will be sacrificing that for the adarsh of prabhupad then it is possible the whole material world their actual dharana of this whole material world is that he is sadhu means he will be like that they don't know what the, the sadhu is not body they don't know sadhu is not a besh sadhu is not a very sweet talking sadhu is that who is 24 to 24 7 he is actually doing bhagavad bhajan all the time and is taking all the time nirantar bhagavata avesh is there inside him and just for the total benefit and mangal of this whole material world they are actually trying something and something so that bonded jeevas can get out of this material world prahlad maharaj speaking that you are the actual support of this material world and apart from that nobody is there and these asuras and demons where they will go definitely you need to best of kripa on them yesterday i was just putting this vichar that you see this word i have actually already told you prasthanu trai prasthanu trai what does it mean at the time of prasthan just by coming prasthan means to come there are three ways of prasthanu trai there are three ways of prasthan prasthanu trai prasthanu trai matlab prasthanu trai means that prasthan means to go and in where to go in prakishta swarup where to go wherever you will go that prakishta work definitely it will be spoken there that prakashta swarup prakashta roop prakashta gaman association prakashta going this word is only they actually is applicable when jivatma are this material bondage they are cutting the actual bondage of this material world and all material bondage they are just cutting it and throwing it out and 
all pure guru vaishnav sadguru mahatma in their life they were just uh, surrendering their uh, head onto the lotus feet of pure guru vaishnav and after that that the actual pathway shown by the gurudev they are actually going on that they will be just uh, putting the efforts to go on to that pathway and they will be just doing the bhakti and going towards the nitya jagat so this is the actual pathway this is prasthanutrai means that there are three pathways open apart for by which by which you can slowly steadily for your actual nitya mangal you can go on to the that pathway and slowly slowly you can go towards that that is prasthanutrai this uh, this your this your vedant is there in vedant vedant upanishad and gita vedant vedant means by the upan veda vyas actually it is being uh, uh, made it is just one kind of formula that all kind of uh, meanings of the vedas that realization is actually all hidden secretly brahm of vedan sutra it's already written there in vedan sutra very slightly small like a formula it is actually written in vedan sutra in a secret hidden form like small formulas they actually it written ved vyas ji has written vedan sutra vedan sutra means that inside that meaning that bhav of uh, meaning of uh, that treasure of bhav is there so like this each and every slowly steadily in a very small and uh, very fine form that shri vedvyas ji maharaj has given all the treasure of this actual mangal mangal pathway he has given that in the form of vedan sutra he has already uh, put that in that and if you will be just taking the meaning out of that shlokas that normal people they cannot understand that at all this is not the work of a bonded jiva big big vedantis also they are actually thinking that they are big vedanti they are also don't know the actual meaning of the vedan they are becoming mad by just taking out the meaning because vedant is not a thing that by your uh, material mind you can understand that you are very top most knowledgeable so you can understand vedant it's not like that that uh, the, i will be uh, giving the meaning of the vedant in front of you it's not like that vedant is self manifested uh, object and all those who are sharanagat uh, devotees just by guru vishnu kripa bhagavat kripa and by the kripa of ved vyas they can uh, all the kind of different meanings can come in front of us just by the kripa mahaprabhu already told you see that sarvam bhattacharya he is telling that you are actually very big knowledgeable personality but just one point you be sure about that that this vedant the actual meaning of this vedant that vedavyas ji maharaj he just has just uh, uh, getting the actual sutra ready and vedavyas ji bhagwan swayam is what is the actual meaning he wants to obey then definitely it is correct in varanasi this kind of argument also came prakashan and saraswati in front of mahaprabhu thousands of disciples were there mayavadi disciples he is actually speaking who actually has just taken the meaning of the vedan sutra if he wants to speak about the meaning of vedan sutra then only he can speak it in a right way that's why our god in our godiya sambhaj that bhashya of godiya samaj that is sakshat govind ji maharaj sakshat govind ji maharaj bhagwan govind has just done kripa on baldev vidya bhushan in front of him he has just started speaking vedan sutra commentary and he started writing that and bhagwan govind swayam ved vyas in the form of ved vyas he has just getting uh, avatarit on this material world so if this vichar is coming that this is self manifested object it cannot come in in our hands at all and in the upanishad this are the actual meaning of upanishad that which is very close to pure pure guru vishnu and bhagwan very very easy it's all in front of those pure guru vishnu bat to sit means that it's all just like a, a 
टू सिट इन फ्रंट ऑफ प्योर गुरु वैष्णव मीन्स दैट देर एक्चुअल विचारधारा ऑफ प्योर गुरु वैष्णव इट इज ऑल द टाइम दे आर द एक्चुअल पैथवे ऑफ सेवा वॉट दे हैव शोन दैट ही जस्ट नीड टू टेक इन हिज ओन लाइफ दिस इज एक्चुअली कॉल्ड उपनिषद सो उपनिषद वन उपाख्यान बाय दैट वन उपाख्यान यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड दैट ऑल काइंड ऑफ डीप सीक्रेट्स ऑफ भजन इज एक्चुअली देयर इन साइड उपनिषद एंड एंड दिस गीता श्रीमद भागवत गीता दिस दैट इन महाभारत देर इज वन वन अंश वन पार्ट ऑफ महाभारत दिस गीता रहस्य This is not an external thing at all, but still, it is separately. It is actually shown why, because all the all the parts, all all Mahabharat. If you will be reading, Prabhupada speaking, that definitely confusion can come by reading Mahabharat, because each and every upakhyan of Mahabharat, that is very much a top most mysterious and very strange vishe. In order to understand that, it is very much difficult to understand. That's why most of the people, those who have just come and hearing Mahabharat. Just by hearing Mahabharat, they are speaking. Oh, he's this Rishi has done this like this. I have also doing this. So what wrong I am doing? It's not like that. The lot of confusion is there regarding Mahabharat. Mahabharat. This also is a Vijay Granth. Uh, this is all victory Granth. V- victory that you can just get victory over this material world. But Prabhupada is actually speaking that just by speaking Mahabharat. you you don't do uh, the part of mahabharat at all why because confusion can come in that bhaktivinod thakur speaking that you you just uh, read chaitanya bhagavat if you want the actual if you want actual bhakti in your life so why you are actually not reading chaitanya bhagavat first guaranteed you will be definitely getting bhakti out of that and this shrimad bhagavat gita upanishad each and in each and every line After each and every adhyay is getting completed, it is already written there. Gita Upanishad, Shri Mad Bhagavad Gita Upanishad, Bhagavad Gita Upanishad, Brahm Vidyayam. Like this, it is already written there in Gita Upanishad. So this uh, Mahabharat, one actual vishe of Mahabharat, which we can see, one part, the Shri Mad Bhagavad Gita, it is very much popular by that name. This is just one part of Mahabharat. This is Swayam Bhagwan's from the lotus mouth of Bhagwan. This kind of uh, topmost uh, vani is coming out of his lotus mouth. Swayam Bhagwan actually teaching to Arjun this topmost transcendental instruction, Krishna Chandra from his lotus mouth. This rasa, transcendental rasa is coming. That topmost uh, transcendental rasa is coming out of his lotus mouth in front of Arjun. and some person are actually putting question that maharaj this actually vishay vastu the shrimad bhagavad gita madhurya dhyan this why actually i am speaking madhurya because some fighting will be there in all the four direction you can see all four direction just fighting is going on regarding why actually it is why you are just putting this word madhurya what is the actual reason behind that if this vichar i will be just putting you in front of you that why i actually i am speaking this word that all the time there is one kind of fighting mood but still that kind of madhurya is already there inside that inside hidden form normal people cannot find that kind of madhurya inside that what do you mean my madhurya in bhagavad leela madhurya is that what is the meaning of madhurya like i'll give you one example regarding this that bhagwan shri krishna is a very small boy very very small boy just a new born boy and uh, The mother actually just put 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 finger up in the lap, and after that, the Bhagwan actually has just going different kind of lila. That is not like Shankar Chakra Kada Padma, and very nice. He hasn't done like that anything, but that same boy, Gopal, that same Krishna Gopal, he is the manifesting his form, and that same Gopal, he has just uh, uh, defeated and Putna means he has just. Uh, Uh, that uh, but krishna has taken the um, um, breast milk of that putna putna just getting delivered by bhagwan see so this putna this actually deliverance of putna in that krishna don't need to put any kind of efforts in that that shank chakra gada padma he has to take and just need to deliver her no not like that just in a very gopal small gopal swarup bhagwan in dam bandal lila also also like that 
that sakata shur bandhan leela trinavart defeat this all kind of different different leela if you will be putting at actual vichar that bhagwan uh, his own this is the actual avasthan this is the actual condition like human human leela same bhagwan is actually putting that he is not at all taking shak chakra kada padma and he is just defeating them no not like that that which looks very impossible next to impossible that same leela that uh, our that in our human body we are having in this what kind of bhav that this mo- human body what kind of bhav is ha- what is the actual nature of this human body that uh, natural uh, behavior means just by not uh, uh, going uh, what kind of leela bhagwan is doing in that limited human form that is this madhurya is uh, written uh, madhurya is uh, um, in hidden form in that that kaliya on kaliya snake bhagwan actually started dancing on the head of kaliya snake so this is all all madhurya leela so here bhagwan shri krishna just by taking the form of a friend he is definitely friend of all the sakhas but for each and every jiva he is the friend of every jiva bhagwan shri krishna that all material world only one friend is there not two only one that is our krishna this already i have told yesterday also that all material world bhagwan is there in the form of friend for everyone but we are just thinking that he is our enemy so this is our this is our actual luck what to do this is our actual ill luck all the time krishna is actually making all kind of efforts that how we can we can go on to the actual uh, pathway actual track the gita pravachan this we have just done that at that time where actually very uh, dangerous kurukshetra war is going to happen in kurukshetra there is very top most dangerous kurukshetra war is going to happen it is going to start and at that time that gita pravachan is being done by bhagwan shri krishna it looks like as if it is under some it looks like that externally we can see that it looks like that it is under historical this is a historical point of view and this historical view point that all time space and matter according to that it is getting del- delivered and is having barrier in all the four directions like that in that gita uh, pravachan is being done so why actually we are not at all speaking it uh, historical incidents the first point is that that time space and matter that this time space and matter this is they are all interrelated to each other in this material world time space and matter it is all interrelated to each other that they are they are related to each other but that in the transcendental vichar if you are making that in that that transcendental time that uh, vishay is actually coming that not material time we are talking about transcendental time in the transcendental world that vishay will come einstein already told you see this uh, time space and matter they are related to each other and theory of relativity definitely it's there and one a good point very important point which normal bonded jeev was don't know that einstein has just speaking this that time travel that time is actually itself traveling that in this material world which is possible in this material world in transcendental world is also possible like radha rani that from kusum sarovar she is actually taking flowers from kusum sarovar and just went to after that she just uh, came to radha kund and lot of leela she has done and after that she is going to surya kund and after that doing so much time actually is being done it's uh, look was by speaking it's very easy but lot of time will be taken from radha kund to surya kund and from kusum sarovar so all those material bonded jeevas their material mind is there so it is it is just uh, actually contaminated by maya that's why this kind of vichar is there inside them 
that in the transcendental world vishay that is the only thing that they are all the time busy in seva they are not at all any vishay no time uh, no time uh, re- management is there all the time they are doing seva and this is the actual work of yog maya that to arrange at what time which leela will be done specifically that total responsibility on is on yog maya she is actually doing everything that uh, this nitya jagat transcendental world they are, they are all the time actually busy in seva what is the actual use of time there but this actually yog maya this is the actual arrangement of yog maya duty of yog maya that which at what time the seva will particular seva will be done and what kind of condition will be arise this is the actual work of yog maya she is doing that just by speaking krishna katha just she is actually going to radha kund so how much time it will be uh, taken to go from radha kund to surya kund so how much time it will be done but radha rani actually is just instantly going there so these are all transcendental vishes you can't that of transcendental time of the transcendental world it is not in our hands at all it is out of our range and this material world has time space and matter of this material world it is all interrelated to each other definitely some kind of interrelationship is there like like i will tell you that from here time space and matter some conception some conception we will be following that how it is how it looks like is speaking here that one object you are that object has to come from one place whatever human body or object he has to get displaced from one position to another and in order to get uh, going from one place to another what kind of time he, uh, actually is being uh, taken and whatever space he has covered in a particular uh, field field of time and matter that time that this much time from this time i the he has already went who has went what object it is that who has gone the matter also this body is also matter no so this body is actually made of five elements so how much time it is taking to go from that to point to that point and he has just covered this much space and how at what time he has covered that so time space and matter are interrelated like that to each other but gita that gita but in this uh, material world it is not at all possible to take that into uh, that gita is a uh, transcendental world of krishna from the lotus mouth of krishna it is coming out the top most nectar coming from the lotus mouth of krishna and lot of people are also actually questioning like this that maharaj ki kaun si absurd it is all absurd how why actually it is absurd maharaj ji actually this kurukshetra war is already started is already going to start okay yes it is going to start yes and in between that how so much uh, top more detailed discussion krishna has done it is impossible this is actually all material uh, mind this is all material mind that you are applying that's why you are thinking like that that uh, so much big uh, pravachan krishna is actually giving that uh, in between that kurukshetra war before starting that just kurukshetra war is going to start and bhagwan is going to give the upadesh of gita to arjun so this kind of material uh, mind is not at all good to apply in this case i have already told you that uh, that transcendental time that is just by the actual will of bhagwan it is going on just by the will of bhagwan that transcendental time is going on arjun arjun is actually putting question in front of bhagwan that you see that uh, you put put my that you take my chariot and like uh, you there actually like a ch- chariot who is driving that he is actually uh, putting instruction to that that you put the chariot there karjun speaking to arjun that with whom i have to fight that i will see you take the chariot there like this arjun is speaking and all both the armies 
that kind of marginal point is there that margin in between that the chariot is actually stand there so that he can easily have a clear view krishna has just uh, uh, already taken the instructions of arjun and just by following that he is not at all doing anything he is just, krishna just taking the chariot of arjun in between that marginal line for panch panda what all krishna hasn't done yes tomorrow i will discuss that so Krishna actually just uh, uh, taking the instructions of Arjun and Arjun just by standing on the chariot he is just seeing all four directions he is seeing and who to fight and what all preparation he is taking in that just by taking the darshan he what kind of state state of mind he is getting i will be discussing it later at that time that kind of condition has come in Arjun that Arjun in order to save Arjun that his own sadharma and karma in order to save that arjun krishna has just uh, speaking all that detailed discussion from his lotus mouth which is called shri gita rahasya in front of arjun and so much detailed discussion krishna speaking to arjun definitely time is required that is definitely sure but what all cannot be possible by bhagwan you see that time in order to extend that and to minimize the time this is all in the hands of krishna that's why this you can understand this point very clearly full faith with full faith with full faith you just need to understand that yes yeah definitely it is possible why because she is bhagwan shri krishna parat par akhileshwar that on on the will infinity brahmans are actually going so this kind of eligibility is not at all there that he can do this kind of small thing that very small time is there uh, at the, uh, the war is just going to start and in between that time only krishna actually speaking all the detailed discussion of bhagavad gita it is not at all possible for a bonded jeeva but it is possible for krishna i will be again showing you in the second pravachan at 2 o'clock that how it is possible that with the uh, infinity gopikas he has done rasa leela for uh, in that just by just by blinking of eyes all the time has gone away just by the blinking of eyes all time has gone away so time actually this rasa leela was being done long time nobody knows that that brahm ratri one if you will calculate materially then you will go mad you will just go mad when you will be calculating that but they are actually thinking that just by blinking of eyes it is gone away with a fraction of second it is gone that autopmost anandmay transcendental time it's all went away they thinking like that gopikas because the on the basis of transcendental time on the basis of transcendental time if we be making this vichar then nothing is impossible bhagwan have already told in this pravachan and in front of arjun and the previous point which i have already told you i have and started vedanta that each and every sutra is there of vedanta sutra and each and every sutra topmost uh, meaning of treasures is there inside that in e- one vedanta sutra if you someone is actually making the meaning if you have understood the actual meaning that uh, i have just already gone lot of uh, detailed discussion about that one maharaj just by speaking only one meaning of that vedant sutra he can get the vairagya in his sansar he can just uh, remove sansar from his heart so from shrimad bhagavad ji mahapran only one shlok if you hear that some ma- maharaj has just uh, came just sit and just hearing only one shlok of bhagavatam and very topmost sadhu he is actually speaking hari katha maybe from the for all from sampradaya man sampradaya that sadhu belongs and he started speaking that shrimad bhagavat whose acharan is there whose realization is there this shloka he started speaking only one shloka he just told and then after that everything done Oh, only by only by one shloka maharaj just actually getting the one uh, sh- detailed discussion of one shloka he is getting topmost heavy vera gain side his heart 
and he has just left all the duties of the sansar material bondage and is getting out of that and what is our actual situation all kind of joking of hearing thousands of hari katha in the name of hari katha we are doing just by actually we speak hearing the hari katha that kind of preeti we are not at all having in with challenging mood we are actually sitting and hearing hari katha this is one kind of challenging mood jo so what he is actually speaking that we are actually not at all uh, less this kind of vichar is there inside their heart that how shabd brahm can do kripa on them they are just uh, uh, wasting their time and they are uh, having different different kind of uh, logic and arguments and they are actually making the arrangements to going to hell that's it what to do all the shastra all the such shastra shad shastras that each and every word of the brahm shabd abrakta shabd brahm that it can do the mangal of the whole material world but for this from our side also some kind of effort is required no if we are not at all putting efforts how we can get out of material bondage definitely efforts are required from our side that if we'll be going two steps ahead krishna will come 10 steps ahead this is the actual rules so bhakti thakur already done this kirtan and yesterday already told if this he can understand practically then he can get the actual meaning of gita automatically inside his heart that just by speaking whole gita and hearing whole gita the actual conclusion of the gita will come that you are mine and i am yours this is the actual conclusion of bhagavad gita that is the top most uh, uh, level of sharanagati and in order to understand that how much time it is being uh, taken by krishna to arjun speaking that if arjun i will I'll definitely tell you that arjun that he is actually thinking krishna is my friend definitely he is friend krishna is friend of arjun such kind of friendship it is very difficult to get transcendental friendship of krishna and arjun and krishna also thinking that i am also your friend you are my friend only that uh, the actual work of uh, role of friend is what that whenever uh, problems coming in the life that he will everything he will sacrifice for his friend he will challenge everything for his friend that is the actual lakshan of friendship symptom of friendship the actual role of friendship is that that at the time he will just show that for you what all i can't do for you now today this shrimad bhagavad gita pravachan we have already started after uh, it will be started later and in that if arjun he is actually thinking like that that he is not my friend he is actually guru on this vichar i will come definitely if this uh, if this uh, uh, tan tan prabanya means pranam prabanya means sharanagati if you are actually sharanaga definitely what krishna speaking you are actually th- thinking to obey that if you are sharanaga then if you are actually sharanaga then why actually krishna whatever speaking you have to follow that completely then only that the 700 shlokas inside that top most uh, 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 this kind of expansion is not at all required for you to understand if someone actually question that arjun was a normal person Someone questioned me. No, no. I spoke that he is not a normal person. Then why Krishna? Why actually he is actually friend of Krishna? And Arjun inside Arjun definitely that bonded condition is there inside Arjun. He is a bonded jiva. No, no, no. It is not at all like that. So why actually he is done like that? If bonded jiva inside him that kind of atha to Brahma jigyasa and atha to shabd jigyasa, this kind of thing will come definitely. that kind of jigyasa that i need this 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 thing feeling will come but this is not at all coming in arjun so he is actually parshad of uh, krishna arjun but when krishna just came onto this material world by his own will he is just in order to perform one leela that he in the uh, he, this at this stage arjun he just kept arjun at that stage and if arjun if will not be standing at that stage then how it is possible that arjun can started speaking in front of us as a question to krishna regarding that 
if this question answer uh, is not at all happening then definitely uh, Gita Bhajan cannot be uh, possible so that's why somebody is required so that's why Arjun is being put into this stage and he started putting question in front of Krishna and Krishna started speaking the actual answers and solutions of those particular questions spoken by Arjun Arjun is not at all in bonded condition but still some those who are actually just by speaking all the Gita after that it's written they are thinking the conclusive point they are thinking like that that in all Gita that we just need what to do what not to do this kind of this is the final thing in Gita that what you need to perform duties of this material world they are thinking like that Gita is such a thing that even all Mayavadis also that Gita is accepted everywhere for each and every bonded jiva they can read that and they can accept that Bhagavad Ji, Mahapuran, Mayavadi people, not at all they are seeing. If they are just seeing it forcibly. But they don't have this kind, any kind of meaning. Sankracharya Ji also, he is taking one shloka of Gita. Only on one shloka of Gita, he is not at all putting any effort to put one kind of uh, commentary on that. Because he is Sakshan Krishna Evahi. Because he swam Krishna himself. That in the form of Shabduram it is coming in front of us. That's why Shankarji Bhagwan, Shankaracharya Ji Bhagwan hasn't taken even a single slave from Srimad Bhagavad Ji Mahaprabhad. He hasn't touched that. But Vedant, the Vedant Bhashya, he has just made commentary, Mayavad Bhashya, and Upanishad, different, different kind of vichar he has just established. But Gita he hasn't done. Why? Because Gita. Each from each and every angle, if we can make which are different, different meanings are coming out of that. If we are making different, if Mayavadi putting one which are from here, and a karm, karmi people they can put from there, and dhyan yogi, kam karma yogi, dhyan yogi, bhakti yogi will be having different, different meanings. So each and every, from different standpoints, we are making that different, different devotees having the different, different kind of standpoints and meanings, they will be getting out of that. So this Prasthanutri means, in Prasthanutri, Gita can be given first priority in that. Prasthanutri in that, Gita will be given first priority, first preference. Gita is also Upanishad. But still, out of these three are actually Prasthanutri. Means, our Guru Varga, that those who are pure Guru Vaishnava under their Anugatya, just by hearing this vichar from their lotus mouth, that bonded jiva can get out of this material world and can cut this material bondage and can go up to that transcendental world. He can go there. Just the actual meaning of Upanishad is also like that. Vedanta also having the same meaning. Upanishad and Gita is also having that same. So yesterday I was actually, I was actually speaking this that Gita that uh, in three portions Bhagwan has just separated it Gita first is the six adhyay that kind of about Nishkarm Karmyog it is some gradation is there regarding that as well about Nishkarm Karmyog Bhagwan Krishna speaking to Arjun one by one how you can get out of the barrier and at last where you will go one one and one kind of different different barriers you need to cross that actually 18 adhyay of Gita just one single and single uh, stairs that Vishad means that Tamagun what do you mean by Vishad about what person you will do Vishad Vishad from Vishad and to the actual point if you want to go slowly one and one you just need to uh, put off the barriers and you have to go at the topmost stage and after that you just need to go above that slowly steadily so this which are actually Krishna has made in Gita the first six adhyay in that uh, karma yoga vishay is Kanish karm karma yoga definitely is there and that second in the second khand in the seventh, from the seventh adhyay up till twelfth adhyay, that about bhakti yoga vishay, that slowly steadily, that background, actual background is getting uh, uh, 
uh, and cut and in front of us up till twelfth adhyay from seventh adhyay and after that then in the third khand from thirteenth adhyay from the thirteenth to the eighteenth adhyay that about bhakti mula gyan yog it is actually being dispersed but bhakti yog is actually is taken inside the middle part that is in our heart why because this is the actual vishay of prema bhakti is this is the actual treasure of all the devotees for each and not it is not given to each and every person bhakti is the actual topmost sampatti treasure topmost treasure it is so it is not given to everyone and prasthanotri on the basis of prasthanotri any jivatma can go slowly steadily he can go out of that and with the very topmost mood he can go out of that it's not like with the mad mind he can go out of that not like that with the very uh, correct procedure if he is going slowly steadily then only he can uh, get uh, towards that moksha dwar definitely he can get out of the boat that bondage of this there is no doubt about it at all in this out of the three geeta is is given priority why because this is uh, swayam bhag coming from the lotus mouth of bhagwan and whatever paroksha that paroksha bhav everything is there it is in the 11th skand actually bhagwan speaking that you see that uh, i am paraksha priya i am indirectly i am a, i want to approach paraksha priya not directly because with paraksha bhav is there so that's why with paroksha bhav in paroksha swarup all the time i am just giving instruction and everything indirectly i am doing that paroksha mama priya that paroksha mama priya paroksha bhav is very dear to me and here bhagwan swayam he is actually just for his friend he is speaking this instruction that bhagwan is actually the friend of everyone and he is actually uh, putting up his tongue and just started speaking in front of krishna his fr- in his uh, his friend arjun that kind of uh, topmost thinkable position of arjun slowly steadily when you will be going to just uh, cross the barriers in the 18th adhyay that kind the of actual ba- uh, actual uh, pathway of moksha in that in order to go there what kind of uh, uh, in condition is given that is the topmost peacefulness you can get in your life you can get the topmost peacefulness in your life by falling getting on to that there is no uh, no ashanti there at all no disturbance at all and slowly steadily just by doing this pravachan slowly steadily we can understand dhak krishna has just questioned arjun like one doctor he is actually asking some question to one uh, patient that you have taken this medicine no ha huh? you haven't taken that no like this question he is actually the doctor speaking asking to patient in the same way krishna is also actually putting questioning questions to arjun that you have uh, have taken medicine uh, nicely your uh, disease has gone up till now or not so in the same way krishna also actually questioning krishna arjun krishna started doing question to arjun and he is uh, asking arjun that you have just uh, done it rightly no with the uh, topmost which are you have just uh, digested it no you understand what i'm speaking no arjun uh, he is asking to arjun krishna so arjun actually at last speaking yes definitely i understand everything now you understand the point yes yes i understood the sitir labdha tat prasadat mahachuta sthito asmi gato sandeho so like this so much uh, unstableness when it is there after that arjun speaking the conclusion maya chuto sit sthito asmi gato sandeho karishya vachanam tam ha aapka vaad yeah sir you are you are definitely i will follow your instructions whatever you are speaking definitely i will follow your instruction now i understand what you are speaking yes that moh that false ego we are th- i was thinking previously that arjun is topmost vicharshali so much varaga is there in arjun so much 
टॉप मोस्ट महिमा ग्लोरिफिकेशन इज हाउ एक्चुअली इज कैट इन डेफिनेटली अरे डेथ इज इनएिटेबल नो देन भगवान स्वीकिंग This is all your foolishness. You are think this is all unknowledgeableness. You are unknowledgeable. You just like uh, speaking like a foolish person. This is all foolishness. You just be sure about this is all unknowledgeableness. And Bhagwan speaking in a very angry mood and speaking to Arjun that that uh, after that he understood. Oh yes, how it is possible that I haven't uh, told me like this to me before, my friend or uh, Krishna like this to me. So. In this way, Krishna Dwaypan Veda Vyas. That uh, in Shri Mat, uh, in Shri Shri Gita Rahasya. That is actually Bhagwat Avatar Maharishi Shri Dwaypan Veda Vyas. It is actually getting uh, um, Rachit. Rachit means it is actually uh, written by uh, Shri Veda Vyas. And each and every adhyay at last. that uh, about shri bhagavat all those uh, the sahasri sangita it means that inside that that gita shri 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 nishade brahma vidyayam yoga sastre eh aisa karke like this it is already mentioned in at the last of the each adhyay it is mentioned like that about gita Yesterday I was actually presenting this point in front of you. I have just uh, tried it to in so that I can present it in front of you. That in Garud Puran, that Garud Puran, very nice sloka, very famous sloka is there of Garud Puran. That भारत अर्थो विनिर्णय गायत्री रूप असो वेदार्थ परिविंगत इसका मतलब क्या द एक्चुअल मीनिंग ऑफ दिस इज दैट आई विल डेफिनेटली टेल यू दिस दैट ब्रह्म सूत्र मीन्स विधान सूत्र विधान सूत्र that all kind of विचार आफ्टर गेटिंग ऑल द विचार कंक्लूजन ऑफ विधान सूत्र वॉट यू विल गेट वॉट इज दैट What is the final conclusion you will get out of that Vedanta Sutra? And in Shri Mad Bhagavad Gita Mahapuran also, what you will get the actual conclusion? Is some difference is there or not? Shri Mad Mahaprabhu is Parat Parakilekshwar Sakshat Bhagwan. He is Bhagwan himself. Shri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself speaking this point that all the all the outcome of the, all the infinity Vedas. the all vedan sutra the outcome of that upanishad upanishad's outcome sare tamam all outcome that is actually already there in the bhagavad gita mahapuran shrimad bhagavad gita mahapuran only that's why is karun puran that very special shloka famous shloka it is getting described ved vyas ji has described that by taking karun puran's conclusion that bhagavad gita mahapuran is the the actual commentary on vedanta sutra that the sutra all the uh, sutra is present in vedanta one by one what the sutra are presented in vedanta sutra and whatever the actual meaning of the vedanta sutra so what will be the final conclusion of that that the actual you can get the applied form of all the meanings in vedanta sutra in shrimad bhagavad gita mahapuran let shrimad bhagavad gita mahapuran whatever kind of instructions written in vedanta sutra All actually are there in applied form in Shri Mad Bhagavad Gita Mahapuran. There you can take that in uh, applied form very easily. Like this uh, thing is topmost. This is positive and true that we have just heard all the kind of pure from pure pure Guru Vishnu of such Shraddhaya Nidhyaay, but we have to do under the guidance of good pure Guru Vishnu. But what is the actual outcome of that? What we what we need out of that? What Guru Vishnu want? if all the shastras just by reading all the shastras if that we cannot get the actual meaning true meaning out of the shastras then definitely we haven't done the actual anugatya association of pure vishnu in shrimad in shrimad bhagavad gita also in bhagavad ji mahap in shrimad bhagavad ji upanishad bhagwan swayam speaking to arjun that all the vedas all the vedas 
the actual conclusion of all the Vedas is that that all Vedas Upanishads the actual conclusion is that that all the con- just by reading all the Vedas we can that only if we are not at all getting the name and Leela of Krishna then what is the use of reading all the Shastras our reading Shastra is all useless that in our life whatever kind of instructions we have got from Prabhupada Ji Bhakti Mnod Thakur Ji and uh, all and Rotam Das Thakur Mahashay we have got Srila Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati Thakur Prabhupada instruction Srila Keshav Goswami Maharaj Srila Sridhar Goswami Maharaj and all our different different guru works they are actually jewels that that our guru work if someone actually just speaking uh, I'll someone speaking uh, nonsense about our guru work I'll just like a dog will cut him and bite into pieces they are all jewels all our guru work are like jewels if someone actually is speaking uh, opposite then I gonna like a dog how I can just uh, uh, bear that Maybe someone can come with me or I am actually alone. But still, I am going to bark like a dog and just cut him. If someone is coming, okay. If someone is not coming, then also okay. I am alone. Even verbally also. Even verbally also, they are not at all ready to accept and not ready to come. But they are confirming this, that Maharaj, no problem, you just go, you just go. We are there. Eh? They are just speaking like lie to me. Nothing, no, no, no one can do anything. But for their own name, they are actually speaking that don't attach our name. Why? Because inside that kind of pratishta, it's there inside them. Because they have that fear that they will get into some problem. And so whatever be the case, whatever be the case, everything is uh, created by Baldauji Maharaj. Actually, I am foolish number one. Whatever will be done, actually all be done by Bhagavan. It means that in Vedanta, just by speaking the Vedanta, the actual conclusion, if you are not getting that Srimad Bhagavad Mahapuran, which is written there, that in the last Upadesh, you will get that. Now in Gita, you can get some kind of touch of Prima in Gita, and only and only uh, there is actually fighting going on in Gita. And we are also fighting, no? <laughs> in Gita also you find fighting, we are also fighting. Our, our fighting is against Maya. Ap- against Apasiddhant. We are also fighting. It means that Vedan Sutra, whatever the actual meaning you are getting out of Vedan Sutra, that in applied form, it is there in Srimad Bhagavadi Mahapuran. You can find that very easily. It definitely you will find that in Srimad Bhagavadi Mahapuran. It means that Mahabharat, that actual fruit, applied form, applied meaning of the Mahabharat, what actually, whatever written in Mahabharat all, this all you can find for in applied form, all which are in applied form, Siddhant which are in Srimad Bhagavati Mahabharat, you can easily find that. No, up till this also it is already said that Gayatri Rup that the Gayatri that mantra Prachodayat mantra that we are actually uh, doing chanting that Gayatri Swarup it is also the applied form that Srimad Bhagavad Mahapurana that Parat Parakhileshwar Swayam Bhagavan Shri Krishna Jadana Mahaprabhu already speaking this point to us That Brahma Mantra. This actual fruit you will get out of this mantra. That in that Chatushloki, the actual fruitful meaning of that Chatushloki Bhagavatam. It's all one and the same. It is not at all two, it's one. The same, same meaning. In Bhagavad Gita, Mahabharat, Mahapuran, Mahabharat. That Mahabharat Mahapuran, inside that all is written. So if if this word actually spoken, this is this Gita is also 
ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ದೇರ್ ಇನ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಇನ್ ಮಹಾಭಾರತ್ ನೋ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ದ ವಿಷಯ ಆಫ್ ಮಹಾಭಾರತ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಯುವರ್ ಸಂಬಂಧ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ಪೀಕಿಂಗ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ದಟ್ ಇನ್ ಭಾಗವಜಿ ದಟ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಫ್ರೂಟ್ಫುಲ್ ಮೀನ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಗೈಡ್ ಇನ್ ಎಂಪ್ಲಾಯ್ಡ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಇನ್ ಭಾಗವಜಿ ಮಹಾಪುರ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಗೆಟ್ ದಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಸೊ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಭಗವದ್ಗೀತಾ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಟಾಪ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ವಿಷಯ ವಸ್ತು ಆಫ್ ಭಗವದ್ಗೀತಾ ದಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಇನ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಭಗವದ್ಗೀತಾ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಫೈಂಡ್ ದಟ್ definitely you will find that in that shrimad bhagavad gita definitely there is actually no doubt and fault about that shrimad bhagavad ji shrimad bhagavad gita the pravachan of shrimad bhagavad gita is already done arjun actually speaking that i have already understood what you are speaking a krishna are no how you if you haven't understood then how you have done it means it means what does it mean that i am actually ready to uh, understand your instructions and my all uh, false ego everything has just gone down now and i have no problem at all but that same arjun who is actually speaking in front of krishna that in in front of krishna he is actually speaking that who that swam arjun is speaking in front of arjun in a, in front of bhagwan that arjun is speaking that same arjun when the kurukshetra war was finished that all the problems were actually rectified externally that after getting the kingship also lot of uh, things they have got yagya was done rajya yagya was everything was done everything was done there and after a lot of days when gone away when bhagwan shri krishna that that just by taking the news of his friend krishna he just went to dwarika dham there arjun at that time at the last time he is actually yudhishthir maharaj become very much uh, afraid and fearful that lot of days have went why actually he is not coming back arjun you just were thinking like that and this uh, that your anuj your uh, brother why arjun is not at all coming back to the kingdom and he is actually becoming very much fearful and afraid by thinking of this and in that a news came arjun just came has just came back to the kingdom and arjun after coming back he paid dandwat to yudhishthir maharaj his brother and he is a bigger brother elder brother but he don't don't have this kind of uh, no he is just started crying arjun he don't can't speak anything you this time maharaj what happened why you are crying heavily to arjun he is speaking what that that you have just got into the agam that uh, what kind of uh, some kind of shruti vachan you are actually not at all uh, you are not you are unable to failure to follow that shruti vachan and some you are actually someone actually getting victory over you or you are not at all putting your promise you haven't fulfilled your promise some kind of question is there you just tell me what happened yudhishthir maharaj speaking to arjun but arjun is just crying he can't speak at all just crying arjun that's it and a uh, very long uh, and broad question and is becoming afraid uh, what is the actual reason behind his crying that he has he arjun is top most uh, veer yodha but why he is actually crying uh, the criers are just uh, those who are actually foolish they are crying but why he is crying those who are uh, defeated they are crying but arjun how he why he is crying after that arjun slowly steadily just started speaking to yudhishthir maharaj and speaking that maharaj it means that what you want to speak oh my god that uh, our my friend hari that i am getting separated completely from him i have got completely separated from hari it means it means that that krishna has is not at all there on this material planet now anymore that same arjun who just take a gandhiv on in his bow and arrow in his hand and on this makhardwaj chariot 
has so much uh, bravery he is showing courage thousands of uh, warriors he has just given the opportunity to fight with them that same arjun is actually standing in front of you who is inside their heart that kind of power is not at all there inside him now that same arjun is standing in front of you at the time i was actually coming back i was actually defeated by the tribal people so that adivasi means they are all those who are tribal that is same krishna only they are not tribal people at all it is coming in the form of bhil sambal all these tribal people and these defeated arjun with that and his last false ego in order to just purely getting into sand just break that completely krishna is actually just if there is smell of false ego still up till that point to get siddhi bhagavat siddhi prapti is not at all possible that kind of arrangement cannot be done completely it is not at all possible to get bhagavat siddhi at all the, the point which we have up till just i have just described it in details what is the actual reason behind it the actual reason is that that i want to speak on this point that arjun at at last speaking to yudhishthira maharaj that same what in the kurukshetra war at that time i was at, at the time of kurukshetra war at that time of the kurukshetra war on the on the battlefield the war is going to start at that time the my friend who is krishna that parat parakleshwar in my, in the form of my friend krishna that hari bhagwan who is actually just all given me detailed instructions of gita in front of me the actual realization the actual pravachan of gita i am getting full practical realization at this point and at this point of time i am getting that i am getting pro- proper realization inside me are what you are speaking gita has done lot of days before yes it is done definitely before lot of days before but yes the actual practical realization i am getting now i was actually at that time speaking that yes yes you are speaking rightly i understood but now the actual practical realization what the pravachan my friend hari has told me it is actually getting inside my heart as practical realization this is called practical realization whatever pravachan hari katha hari katha whatever is there guru giri in the form of guru dev you are there if you are not at all without realization you are doing then definitely you just need to uh, uh, get the fruits you will get the punishment uh, out of that you will get the reaction shastri punishment the reaction you will definitely get arjun wants to speak that up till today after so long the all kind of meaning of the gita it is actually getting total practical realization in my life i am getting uh, top most realization now it means that uh, gita va pravachan we have heard from a very long time previously but that actual realization today has come inside my heart and uh, uh, its realization and assimilation today has just gone it means to digest and to just get it assimilated in the uh, small intestine it's today done it's very easy to speak pravachan in front of thousands and lakhs of people it is very easy to speak uh, pravachan in front of lack of people but to get actual realization it is very much difficult to get without practical realization if whatever pravachan or whatever uh, bhajan pathway we are actually done without realization it is of no use or oh, it's all useless that of our life this is only the one one time one part life and in this war of our life that in order to get siddhant inside our heart if someone actually speaking wrong and is just speaking wrong about pure guru vishnu and gaudiya math we just we also are in one kind of fighting and after that speaking that what kind of fighting is you is we are there this corona period that's why i am spoken that five to six articles i have written on corona and i have already established that and in that i have already proved really so this is not corona this is definitely karuna of bhagwan this karuna this mercy this is actually karuna for me this corona this is actually corona this is actually demon by this uh, uh, asur but for me it is actually karuna mercy of bhagwan because in the life first time in my life 
that so much shastri vichar uh, together i have just done just by the kripa of pure guru vishnu and bhagwan i am doing that and up till what point i will be going i don't know up till krishna where i will take because i don't have this kind of uh, only by the kripa of prabhupada and bhakti nuta gur actually i am speaking and that's their vichar only i am speaking but i have just taken that into realization and started speaking in front of him because it is strictly prohibited gurudev speaker don't speak any kind of oratorship in front of anyone don't do any kind of oratorship like a material person don't speak any kind of oratorship in front of anyone that's why in my life i am not at all uh, as a standing orator i am not at all doing that job uh, previously i have a, i am not remembering but today i am actually speaking the practical realization what i have got so this point maharaj it is actually proved by this point that that all kind to every part of the gita actual uh, deep meaning of gita it is already there in shrimad bhagavat ji mahapuran only and only in bhagavat ji mahapuran it is already there but the actual vichar of bhagwan just from the lotus mouth of devotees when it is coming is coming like a nectar from the lotus mouth of uh, devotees the vichar of bhagwan rasam alayam means moh raho rusika bhu vivaha ye git e bhagwat ji mahapuran this already written in bhagwat ji mahapuran regarding this if the actual meaning of gita is already there in a plight form in bhagwat ji mahapuran then what is the uh, then what is the actual uh, fault in that what kind of fault i have uh, done that that it is i am actually protested that uh, why it is actually shri gita dhyan what is the actual fault in that i have already proved that in front of you in that it is written that all those rasik devotees they want actual rasasvadan so definitely in ras is there inside it that's why i have this kind of uh, eligibility i don't have to speak but slowly steadily i will be just giving this vichar in front of you regarding the rasa and shin chandra chitamre there already one point is there that is swarup gosai that for infinite all the is the soul authority of all the gorya uh, samaj this is the topmost authority swarup gosai on to him mahaprabhu has given the responsibility that that if something uh, happens that you just need to see that that vishveshnav raj sabha is everything has just stopped all which are stopped in vishveshnav raj sabha no which are is there at all in vishveshnav raj sabha those only those persons can do who are actually mahabhagavat those who are top most powerful sadhus like prabhupad like bhakti nath thakur they can it is possible for them like jeev goswami bhai normal people it is not at all uh, possible how it is very dangerous how he can do why because uh, all opposite things going on only one point also they can speak in front of us are okay maharaj let them do what i can uh, we, we are taking the responsibility definitely we have to take the responsibility if you will not take the responsibility who will take then why you are acting as acharya you tell me what do you mean by acharya ha eh? you have taken the responsibility and why you are not taking the responsibility now ha eh? you are just for your own mangal you are doing foolish number 1 he is acting as acharya so vishveshnav raj sabha what kind of different different vichar is there according to the kripa of guru varg i have already told you from the last 4 to 6 months maybe more than 4 months i am actually describing that uh, from sunday actually i am describing that from nab nomi from that day actually i am speaking that the rama ji ram ji will just take me out of this material bondage and i have taken the lotus feet of ram ji at the avir baba of ram chandra ji i have just started that and after that ram ji has just made one setu one bridge for me yes i am slowly steadily i am actually getting out of that ram ji chandra ji has just made one bridge for me and after that all this is actually is going on from ram ram me and in chaitanya chaitamrit also this all kind of uh, godias in the godias samaj that who has given the actual responsibility swarup damodar goswami swarup damodar goswami he is actually speaking to one sahajiya with a very angry mood are you go and take the association of pure devotees of gorang mahaprabhu and you take the ashray of all the gorang parshad and just read bhagavad gita mahapurana you hear like that that is a very topmost upadesh instruction given by sarvam damodar 
टॉप मोस्ट इंस्ट्रक्शन गिवन बाय सरुद्ध मदर को साइन दैट इन आवर लाइफ दिस इन इंप्लाइड फॉर्म शुड कम इन आवर लाइफ दैट यू गो एंड रीड भागवत जी महापुराण इन द एसोसिएशन ऑफ गौरंग पार्षद वेरी मच इंपॉर्टेंट इन फ्रंट ऑफ वैष्णव ऑल टुगेदर इन एसोसिएशन विद प्योर वैष्णव दैट श्रीमद भागवत जी महाप्रमन यू जस्ट नीड टू टेक द एक्चुअल रसा दोज हु आर इन इन फ्रंट ऑफ ऑल द रसिक डी वोट इज यू जस्ट नीड टू टेक दैट यू जस्ट नीड टू रीड दैट भागवत इन फ्रंट ऑफ दैम वाई बिकॉज ग्रंथ भागवत एंड एंड भक्त भागवत ग्रंथ भागवत इज इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू विल डेफिनेटली मैनिफेस्ट योर सेल्फ वैन देन भक्त भागवत विल जस्ट टू कृप ऑन यू ग्रंथ भागवत एंड भक्त भागवत इज ऑल द सेम देर इज नो डिफरेंस बिटवीन दैम एट ऑल they are actually become one with each other aham bhakt paradhi nahi asatant eva diyo ye bola na this already told no aham bhakt paradhi hi asatant eva hi madanat te na jananti na han te thyo manag upi jawa sabhi oh so even slightly sabhi, even slightly that aham, mistakenly aham, that uh, what from my devotees i am not at all taking any seva just slightly if, and for devotees this rule has been made already that apart from me he will not at all thinking about anything else nanatte na jananti na ham te phyo manag upi manag upi jara sabhi vichar slightly slight which are also not coming about the devotees also swarup sai ji ko swarup damodar goswami is actually speaking is the actual acharya because chaitanya mahaprabhu has just given in ban swarup in the form of swarup goswami is speaking in front of us this instructions sthane ekant asray kor chaitanya char chaitanya bhakt gane nitya kor sangu har vakat all the time you just need to do association of even even fraction of second you just need to do association of pure guru vishnu the devotees of gorang mahaprabhu you just need to do association all the time you just with full association of them you just need to stay with them all the time that uh, the actual nitya sang of gorang mahaprabhu we have to do that eternally transcendentally eternally means that we have two meanings that uh, that uh, all the time nitya rules we are actually following this is actually totally different uh, nitya means daily and this nitya is actually eternal there is lot of difference between that eternally you just need to get the association of gorang mahaprabhu parshads and devotees of gorang mahaprabhu the actual parshad of gorang mahaprabhu all those devotees you just need to do association of them all the time eternally even fraction of second you can't leave that you don't need to throw that association because all the actual secret of the rahasya of the bhajan it is already there in a uh, satsang that's why jagadanand pandit actually speaking in vrindavan when he went when mahaprabhu actually is speaking to jagadanath pandit and he is giving the permission to go to vrindavan to jagadanath pandit at that time there is one very nice golden instruction given you just remember that you don't need to go to govardhan uh, giraj maharaj you don't need to put foot on that you, you have to do parikrama but even fraction of second the association of sanatan goswami you don't need to leave that that is the actual instruction given by महाप्रभु अरे जगदानंद पंडित इज अ बॉय वाई एक्चुअली इज जस्ट अ टू बॉय टू ईयर्स बॉय और फाइव ईयर्स बॉय है सो लाइक दिस वाई महाप्रभु स्पीकिंग लाइक दैट जस्ट बी श्योर दैट इवन फ्रैक्शन ऑफ सेकेंड यू डोंट नीड टू लीव द एसोसिएशन ऑफ सनातन गोस्वामी ओ वॉट यू डू वॉट डू यू द वट डज इट मीन एक्चुअली ही इज नॉट एट ऑल अ स्मॉल किड जगदानंद पंडित इज एक्चुअली एटर्नल पर्सन द एक्चुअल रीजन इज दैट कृष्ण जस्ट वॉन्ट टू शो अस दैट यू सी दैट ही हैज गिवन अस वन मॉरल out of that that by this instruction gorang mahaprabhu speaking that sambandhagan acharya that is sanatan goswami that with the association fraction of second if that association getting deassociated then we will definitely very topmost problem we can get into that that's why sanatan goswami is actually sambandhagan acharya it is all so told and uh, not even fraction of second we have to leave and because guru vishnu are giving me as that giving the relationship with krishna and you see all actually pure guru vishnu are our own person and for our top most mangal all the time they are thinking of us and you are thinking that they are actually uh, enemy of us it is actually your fault now you are thinking like that ये तो भागवत जी 
so this in bhagavad gita mahapurana about bhagavad gita mahapurana it is written and about the uh, glorification of sadhu sang it's already written that chaitanya mahaprabhu's devotees who they are they they are just like uh, hari bees on to the lotus feet of goram brahma all the time they are taking the rasa out of the nectarian lotus feet of mahaprabhu all the time they are tasting that all our guru work they are just like honey bees and they are tasting the honey like nectar and they are all the time hovering around the lotus feet of mahaprabhu which is just like a nectar of honey that's why it is written that chaitanya mahaprabhu's association you have to do all the time then only that infinity infinity ocean of body of siddhant that siddhant ocean of body of siddhant then only you can understand that gaudiya sampradaya is that infinity siddhant ocean that all the time one kind of wave is actually coming up and all the time this siddhant is getting manifested in front of us about this siddhant you just need to make sure that it is you should uh, try to remember this siddhant you can understand the siddhant which are only after that on your own way pathway you cannot find that at all even dog also if like this chaitanya charan he is taking the like a honey you just getting the smell of that uh, honey bees that same nectar of the top most uh, opulent and the top most smell of the nectarian lotus feet of gorang mahaprabhu just dog also can get the can know speak the glorification he can also get the same rasa that smell also of that top most uh, krishna Ch- chaitanya charan he will get that lotus feet of gorang mahaprabhu that kind of smell he that dog also will get that that inside his sense organ that kind of smell transcendental smell transcendental smell will come in his nose he also can understand that he is devotee this is bhakti this is devotee and this is foolish this is nothing these are cheater then only he can understand only then he can understand That is the actual Siddhanta which I have told you in Chaitanya Charita Amrit. Onto the lotus feet of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, we just need to glorify that. Lotus feet of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Just by getting the grip of that Gorang Mahaprabhu. Just by getting the grip of that Gorang Mahaprabhu. That infinity Siddhanta Sagar. That which is the actual Gaudiya Ocean. That kind of infinity ocean of Gaudiya Siddhanta Sagar. You just need to take a dip into that one kind. In one wave of that. And we are just one kind of children. Which a very innocent child. We don't know anything. If a child also is innocent. that he don't know anything but still that innocent child can get that means chaitanya mahaprabhu anugrahat gurahat anugrahat panchami vibhav that is panchami vibhakti in sanskrit fifth case ending in sanskrit balo pi jadano gurahat tarenya namak grahyam anayas or very easily very easily you can get in a dip into the and he has this kind of power to get out of this ocean of material maya very easily even in thousands and thousands of barriers is there in this material world is all the time ready to kill us all those barriers different different kind of ism fascism capitalism guruism sare lage all kind of ism do i everyone busy in ism only guruism mayavadi mein guru all in mayavadi is also guruism or they are speaking guru 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 they can't understand what is actual what is guru actually they are foolish number one they can't understand what is guru they are speaking guru 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 are our guru tab foolish number one mayavadi 
ऑल रबिश दे डोंट नो गुरु तत्व होल फैमिली इज गेटिंग डिस्ट्रॉयड दे जस्ट वॉन्ट टू डिस्ट्रॉय अवर फैमिली दैट्स इट अरे यू अंडरस्टैंड गुरु तत्व फर्स्ट नॉट एट ऑल अंडरस्टैंडिंग वॉट इट इज फुलिश नंबर वन मायावादी नंबर वन ग्राह मीन्स दैट कुंभीर जस्ट लाइक क्रोकोडाइल दैट इज ऑल द टाइम देयर और टू जस्ट डाइजेस्ट अस टू किल अस एंड ईट अस इन दिस ओशन ऑफ सिद्धांत सागर वॉट वी नीड टू डू दिस सिद्धांत सागर ओशन ऑफ सिद्धांत इन ऑर्डर टू गेट रिड ऑफ ऑल दिस मटीरियल माया इट इज वेरी इजी फॉर अस टू टेक द सपोर्ट ऑफ गौरंग महाप्रभु कृपा एंड लोटस फीट वी कैन टेक ऑल दोज डिवोटिज ऑफ गौरंग प्रभु इफ देयर कृपा इज डन then very easily we can get out of this material ocean of maya and we will can get the actual opening of the pathway for us to get out of that whatever shat shat shastra is there it's not like bhagavatam only whatever shat shastra is there if the actual meaning if you are getting realized your realization you are getting of a particular meaning then kind of pure guru vishnu only you just need to go in front of them why because the actual swarup of the shastras it is actually not different from bhagwan and bhagwan in order to just get hypnotized all the devotees are uh, putting hypnotism on bhagwan gor kishor das baba ji don't know externally about anything material knowledge the actual meaning of all the shastric knowledge well, when prabhupad heard that he just got mad one time prabhupad ji actually coming to gor kishor das baba ji maharaj just to take the lotus uh, dust of the gor kishor das baba ji maharaj at rani chhoda he just went there and he speaking oh baba ji maharaj don't what want to you and just glorifying uh, baba ji maharaj and at that last time that amar prabhu bimla prasad has come and then only after that he went come out uh, came out and amar prabhu you just uh, sit on this asan so he speaking to prabhupad and after that when sitting in uh, asan that my wish is that that you just uh, speak i can speak uh, you can just speak one shloka of bhagavatam in front of me prabhupad actually speaking the shloka and after speaking that what is the if you can just give me some uh, vichar and meaning of this prabhupad actually very nicely very nicely he just spoke in speaking the actual meaning and after hearing the meaning baba ji were speaking oh very nice meaning very nice meaning of bhagavatam you have just told me okay amar prabhu this uh, if this uh, meaning we can just speak like that so what can be like what will be the case like after that gor kishor das babu just started speaking the actual bhagavat pravachan but he don't know actually what is bhagavat <laughs> so prabhupad speaking that this bhagavat the actual meaning what baba ji maharaj have heard from baba ji mar lotus mouth it is quite impossible to get that swayam bhagwan gorang mahaprabhu is there inside his heart and speaking that it is not at all possible like that in this material world bhagwan in the inside the heart of uh, baba ji maharaj is there all the time that's why he is actually speaking like that and this siddhant i am getting i am actually very much lucky prabhu just became very surprised that this kind of vichar very nice vichar it's nice meaning parpa time getting very nice how it is possible prabhu is speaking externally that uh, normal people speaking that baba ji maharaj don't know how to read and write but he is the topmost uh, even the matured form baba ji maharaj is getting the topmost knowledgeable personality that knowledgeable personality the topmost last stage that is there inside baba ji maharaj this self manifested in baba ji maharaj that kind of brahma knowledge topmost knowledge that uh, after uh, knowing that other things we don't there is nothing left to know at all after getting that particular object inside our heart there is no dissatisfaction at all that is called bhagwat bhagwat ji mahapuran that is bhagwat charan in chaitanya chaitamrit vrindavan das thakur mahashay he speaking that you see that they, they don't know the actual meaning of the shastra and they don't they all the time actually getting in uh, getting the conclusion of all the shastras they are putting they are putting commentary on the shastra but they don't know the actual meaning of shastras like ash like ash they are just like an ash they are just in on ash if you will be giving more and more heavy weight then uh, ash is not at all feeling good when no heavy weight is there on the, on his back 
But when you are putting heavy weight, he is liking that. Vrindavan Das Thakur speaking, that they don't know the actual meaning of the Shastras. That without knowing the actual meaning of the Shastras, they are actually Adhyapan, Adhyan, they are actually speaking in front of others. Even just like ass all the time they are speaking. They are actually just speaking Shastra in front of all those asses. And the actual meaning of the Shastra, the actual heaviness of the Shastra, the actual weight of the Shastra, the external meaning of the Shastras, it is just taking the weight of that on their back. And they are speaking that I am big Pandit. They are actually... They are all foolish number one. Foolish, foolish professors they are. They are in the name of professions and teachers the foolish number one. That in the way of Krishna Bhakti, in the way of Krishna Bhakti, a uh, very straightforward uh, pathway of Krishna Bhakti, apart from that they are leaving that, they are actually diverting that and they are going towards other uh, pathway. That uh, by the actual Maya of Krishna, they are actually getting uh, diverted by that. And they are going towards other pathway. No vichar actually they are understanding at all. Foolish number one. They are like ass. And they are speaking that they are big pandit. And definitely you are pandit. But still you are ponga pandit. Don't know anything at all. <laughs> lot of uh, in the in Gaudiya Samaj, lot of people are there like that. They, Krishna has given everything in their hand. All Mahajan, Anugatya, Sadguru they have got. Everything they have got in their life. Mahamantra, everything they got. All everything uh, getting in their bhajan. But still, the, by their ill luck, they, this Mahajan, Anugatya they are leaving and they are going towards Karamkand, Yoga. They are taking that pathway. What is, what is the difference between Karamkand and Karam Yoga? Like uh, Narottam Das Thakur speaking, that this Jnan Kand Karma Narottam Das Thakur is speaking. This Karma Kand and Jnan Kand, who are actually getting a dip into that, it is just like a poison, or actually a patra, a jar of poison. It is a jar of poison. Those who are thinking that they are taking just the, uh, drinking it like a nectar in their life, for their their life actually is totally getting destroyed, totally destroyed. Life after life, birth after birth, they have to each and every birth they have to take, and they will be just going into this cycle of birth and death, and at last. They, they are actually falling down and down and down and after up to hell they will be going that. Adopat means that they will be going into hell. That what is karma kand and what is karma yoga and what is karma arpan? This what is nishkam kam karma yoga? What is it is each and every detailed vishay object we will be discussing that. The actual vichar if you can get it is very much important. Otherwise, anyhow, you will not at all understand these points. It is not at all easy to understand. But still it is easy. This is not at all easy at all. But still it is easy. Only Kripa you require. That's it. And now, actual situation of Arjun, I will be speaking two words and I will be giving rest today. Fighting is going to start. Kurukshetra fighting is going to start. And Kaurav and Pandavs. Pandavas are also Kaurav, no? Specifically, they are actually by separately. That's why actually it's given here that Kaurav and Pandav are all the same. They are also from Kaurav bunch. So Kaurav and Pandav, why we are actually speaking like that? Why there is some division? In order to separate it and in order to get some distinction, this kind of uh, distinction is given in front of us so that we can understand the actual group. And the fighting is going to start. And just by taking the uh, by taking the instructions of Arjun, 
Krishna taking the chariot of uh, Arjun and is just taking it in between uh, in between the uh, fighting arena and he is actually um, one Krishna followed the instructions of Arjun and he taken the chariot in between the Kaurav and Pandavas and Arjun just uh, standing on the chariot and he is just watching here and there on both the sides what kind of uh, warriors are there and who all are there to fight with me everything Arjun is watching and just by seeing that just by watching that slowly steadily that Arjun's that bhav of Arjun is totally uh, changed by seeing that that Arjun that topmost warrior and now he is cleave Arjun <laughs> cleave Arjun means that he is not at all male not female hey Parth what you are doing you are just cleave you are not male not female huh? you are hichuda like this Krishna speaking to Arjun what you are speaking you will not fight huh? this is not at all good for you what you are speaking not at all good this kind of attitude is not at all good and Arjun hasn't got this kind of treatment anyway and this friend Krishna that hasn't spoken like this to Arjun like this but now he's speaking with friend Krishna actually speaking with all in laughing mood but today in a very strict mood he's speaking and now this kind of attitude he is not at all expecting from Krishna at all definitely if he is just thinking like that definitely he is uh, getting one kind of uh, uh, attack in uh, when he is just uh, facing this kind of attitude from Krishna that you are cleave Krishna speaking that you are not male not female and in fr- front of a very topmost uh, intelligent person well, will be speaking that you are foolish number one so he will be actually thinking like that some attack has come and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also has just speaking to one Pandit that you just give me the actual meaning of this. What is the actual meaning of that um, shloka? That that Pandit actually started speaking. Are this shloka? How this ca- came in front of you? I have actually like wind actually I am speaking in front of you. How you actually caught the... If you buy the Kripa of Saraswati, you are a big Pandit. So it can be possible no, that I can also be by the actual Kripa of Demigod. I can be Shrutidhar. So maybe it can be possible. Yes, yes, it can be possible. So like this Gorang Mahaprabhu speaking, when he just proved to him that your uh, this Stuti, that Vidya Varta, what you have shown me here, it is uh, topmost, a uh, lot of faults are there in that. And uh, it is not at all good. So this is actually wrong. That is wrong. This is wrong. So much false here, Mahaprabhu told to that Pandit, Digvijay Pandit. And uh, so Digvijay Pandit not become a Pandit, he just become fooled. And he was thinking that I am foolish number one. And from inside his heart, that, that from inside his heart, that kind of confidence, self-confidence he is having, that self-confidence which he is having, automatically it got broken into pieces. And just not even one shloka he can speak in front of Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu speaking to him that you see, just by laugh in a laughing mood he is speaking that uh, I am actually foolish that Digvijay Pandit is thinking. And when you will be thinking that the Pandit is actually foolish number one, then all kind of uh, commentary what he was actually speaking before, he will be thinking that it is all false. And he was thinking that just a small boy, Digvijay Pandit thinking, just a small boy and my Ishta Devi and I am getting fooled by her and maybe I will be doing the Chapa today and this one small boy in front of him I am actually getting uh, proved false in front of everyone I am getting disrespected everywhere just in front of a small boy so in the same way Arjun also has two kind of uh, two kind of Kartavya both is there in front of Arjun one is that his all his uh, that from the side of the people that all the people are speaking that we are actually towards all five Pandavas that we are towards you, we are supporting you all the people are saying that you just have need to save us and now Arjun actually is in between now getting stuck Arjun has two boundaries now one, one, one decision is that, that from the side of all the people who are supporting Pandavas that he need to fight 
and he need to get victory so that he can protect all those people this is one uh, duty and the second duty and from the nation side and from his country's and nation side he just need to fight it is also one kind of great responsibility on arjun so that he can protect the dignity of the nation or country so this is the topmost two duties on arjun and the second one is that his own uh, material uh, his own uh, his mother father and her uh, child all his uh, uh, parents and his brothers sisters everyone each and every one they are on one side of the battlefield and uh, what is my actual duty towards them that this dronacharya guru i have taken every uh, uh, teachings from him that bhishma pitama who has just told me how to speak all shastras everything he is my guru and i'm going to kill them and this all what kind of all relationship i have all relationship with everyone with them daughter in law son in law everyone is there the what is my actual duty towards them like should i be taking all the knives and this is my duty that to kill them with the knife and sword no 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 it is not at all there this is not my and different different kind of which are came in the heart of arjun at the time of uh, from the duty of the nation that you just have to fight this is your actual duty you are kshatriya you need to fight and you have to get victory over kauravas this is dharma yudh you have to do that and from the other side that our whole uh, members family members my baba par baba daughter in law son in law brother sisters mother everyone is there on other side that is my actual duty to protect them and how i can fight against my own gurudev i have to just cut their throat and with my support so what i have to kill them no not at all how can can i kill my gurudev so this whole material world is so much strange and surprising that just by performing one duty the second duty you cannot uh, perform this is contradictory point you just take this kind of vichar just accept this this is my only uh, prayer on to lotus feet of all what i want to speak that this material world is such a strange place that from one place if you will perform a duty then from the other kind of duty you cannot perform at all this is contradictory point in this material world you will not at all able to do that at all in this material world this is the actual problem from all the four directions all for four directions it is all actually getting separated all uh, everywhere everywhere there is problem only pure guru vaishnav is there he has the actual solution with him otherwise there is no at all any solution but, but still the uh, external people are performing a uh, lot of problems are you stop your pravachan you just have fighting with him so that he can't speak so all the time they are doing this maharaj hasn't taken not even single penny he has taken from him. means i haven't asked anyone for even single penny i haven't taken any pratishtha i haven't went to anyone to take only Pra- prabhupad pravachan i want to speak and they are speaking that i want lot of money they are foolish number 1 they actually i am actually there to just um, uh, glorify you no not at all i am there to glorify gurudev if i'll be just uh, glorifying gurudev then i am actually thinking that i am the dog of guru vishnuv that if i am not a dog of guru vishnuv then how i can get, how can I, i can glorify gurudev and how i can uh, and if i'll speak about the glorification of gurudev then how that pratishtha name fame position can be there inside me that everything what i have taken it's all on to the lotus feet of gurudev i have given what is my liability there nothing is there at all so this uh, in this material world this kind of duty it is actually in abundance if you will do one duty then other kind of duties will definitely gonna um, you, will stay if you will be taking lot of money then your body will just get broken into pieces you will get diabetes hyperpressure hypertension lot of other diseases will come in your body definitely corona can also come in your body who know what kind of guarantee is there if you taking lot of uh, knowledge then also whole knowledge if you are getting then also in your bhog vilas your in your sense enjoyment you will be getting busy in that 
this time will not at all be there no that friends are going okay, let's go and have some enjoyment saturday sunday is there that we will go saturday and sunday club will go how i can go there maharaj that if you will do one then the other duty will get uh, separated and if you will do that then the third thing will get separated in front of rajam ramchandra ji maharaj also this came but still by leela he has shown us this point that uh, for her so for her wife sita eternal shakti she is actually saving wants to save her but in order to uh, and in order to maintain the whole uh, nation then definitely uh, there will be sacrifice of her wife sita so this is the actual rules of this material world bhagwan swayam actually in ramchandra is uh, just shown us this practically that uh, just to get independent uh, india that it has got divided into three pieces two pieces already it is getting divided into three three pieces now and bharat if you will not at all getting independent then then if you will not at all separating the india then then Bhav, india will not get independence so this kind of thing is there all the time it is there if you will make an actual vichar then if you do one duty in this material world then the other duty will definitely you will get separated you can't perform that particular duty so that is the case what to do so if this vichar is there slowly steadily the actual glorification of gita and the dhyan of gita you just need to get into that ocean of gita and just uh, start getting into that ocean of deep siddhant vichar slowly steadily go into this deep siddhant philosophy of gita rahasya and after that you can understand that where actually is mother what is madhurya what is gyan that what is the topmost uh, instructions written in gita what is there in gita already in hidden form different different kind of things are already there in gita and it is my actual prayer uh, prayer that you just digest it with full patience with full patience you just need to digest that it is not just one kind of foolishness the shastras in those who have active patience topmost patience in them a vichar is having they are having in them then slowly steadily under the anugatya they can understand slowly steadily by hearing at the last they will get the topmost vichar in their life that all kind of vishastras are there already placed in front of us if you have money power okay by your money power you can read and what you have understood by that no practical realization will come by that at all so this is the actual vichar here sharanagati that is the actual principal cause prarad maharaj what he is speaking what i have already started you just need to remember that that vichar should you also always should remember with so topmost uh, ocean of mercy that uh, sadhu guru vaishnava that you just need to make successful your life and this is my only prayer on to the lotus feet of everyone trayena deva munayo sabhi mukti kama maunam charanti vijanena parathanishta naitan vihayo kipanan vimumoksha eko नान्याम तदसरणम भ्रमतोपे वाछाकल्पतुर्वशी के पासी भविष्य पतितान पावन भविष्य भ्यो नमो नम